Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress widget development tutorial. This is our part 10. Inside this video session, guys, we will see about using WordPress custom queries in our widget. In the last video, we had seen all about using WordPress functions in the widget development. Now let's say that we are not going to use any of the WordPress functions. Instead, we want to make our own custom queries to get all the data inside our widget area. So in WordPress, if we want to use any custom queries, we need to use a global object something, a global WordPress object called WPDB. By the help of global object WPDB, we can interact with the database. By the help of that object, we can perform all about our all CRUD operations like insert, update, delete as well as we have several methods to list our data. So let's say that if we want to read all the posts from our table, so how can we get all the posts back to editor? Now this is the widget where we are working and inside this widget we have a widget method. Inside last video, all we had seen using our WordPress functions. So if I comment off all these lines, now if we save this file, reload this page, now inside this plugin means inside this widget, we have no data used. Now let's say that we want to get all the posts what we have inside our database. Inside last video, we also discussed that we have several many post types we have inside our database. It means that when we create any page, it is saved as a post type equal to page. If we create any post, it is going to save post type equal to post. Let's say that if we have some custom post types then inside post type column value, it is user defined value. So what I will do, we want to read all post from database. It means we have post type equal to post here. Now as we discussed that to interact with the database, we need to use a global object something called WPDB. By the help of this WPDB, we can interact with the database and perform all our queries. So let's say that we are going to select all the posts which have the post type equal to post. So what I will do, WPDB, here we have several functions. So we are going to use called get results. Inside this, I am to use prepared statements. Prepared statements basically used to provide our SQL queries from SQL injection. So let's say that WPDP prepare method and inside this let's say that select we want specific column values otherwise it is going to return all of the columns. So let's say that first time we want all the columns. So select all from let's say that WPDP this is all about to get the prefix this is all about to get the table prefix so in our case we have wp underscore if we go inside our database so this is wp underscore might be in some cases of users this is user defined so back to editor wpdb prefix let's say that we want to get all the data from this post table it means wp underscore post where we have post type equal to and as we know that this is a string value. So we are going to use a placeholder for the string value separating with the comma and I am to pass our string value and something the post here. It means select all from WPDB prefix it means WP underscore post where post type equal to post and finally Let's say that here all posts equal to 
equal to and if I copy this variable let's say that print a and here if I write a PRE tag save this change back here reload this page and as we can see that we are getting here as we have the first index of hello world scroll down here we have sample post 3 scroll down sample post 5 it means that we have three posts created if I back to our admin panel go inside this post click on this all posts and here inside this admin panel we have four posts it means this is for the zero index first index second and the third index so as we are getting as we can see here that is we are getting four different objects this is our first second third and finally we have the fourth object now inside this any means inside this each of the object these are the columns what we are getting it's because our post table if I open this table into a new tab go to structure and inside this table we have all the columns now let's say that we only want all about its post title let's say all about its post name as well as its published status so what I will do back to editor instead of selecting all values let's say that we want post title we want post name and we want all about post underscore status now if we save this change back to our editor sorry browser reload this page and this time we are getting only called post title post name as well as post status so by the help of this array we can use for each loop here while going through that for each we can read each object and print all these values inside our any specific layout let's say that inside our visit if we want to list all the posts what we have inside our database so by using the same concept we can create a widget for that so this is all about for our WP post table now let's say that if we want to get all the users what we have inside our database so the same thing we need to do if I make comment of all these lines let's say that all users we are going to use WPDB get underscore results inside here we are going to use prepared statements so WPDB prefix sorry not prefix it's prepare and inside this prepare let's that select all from and the table name in case of users we have let's say WPDB prefix it is going to return WP underscore and here we have called users table it means that if we want to read all the information so here we have the users called WP users table so if I click on this table go to structure now it is going to return if I back to editor and let's say that select all from WP users table and simply let's say echo PI tag let's say print all, all underscore users save this change back to editor reload this page and we will get all of the object this is our first object in the same we have now a second object it means we have only two users inside our database to verify if I go here click on this users now as we can see that we have only the two users so right now inside each of the object we are getting all the default values what we have inside these default columns so if we want all about let's say only the information called user login user nickname user email any specific column it means we want, also we can get that if I go here 
let's say that if we want to get let's say user login user underscore nickname user underscore email save this change back to browser reload this page and as we can see that here we have all the columns what we have passed inside our query now apart from our post section user section if we want to let's say to get all the categories what we have inside our database or what we have created from our admin panel we can also check that if we go let's say post categories so right now as you can see that we have a books category products as well as uncategorized so to check all the available categories inside our database back to our database and click on this WP terms now inside this as we can see here that is we have our category name called uncategorized products and books so this is all about our category name so by means of querying through this WP terms table we can get all about our category information and also inside this as we have the information let's say the books category have a single post the products category have single post and the uncategorized have two post now if we want to read all about the post informations so how can we get that if I back to table and open about this tab into a duplicate tab back here and here we have called WP term taxonomy if we click on that and here as we can see that term id1 it means if i back to wp terms table here we have called term id1 it means uncategorized the category so uncategorized category have count equal to 2 it means 2 post it have the second category it means term id2 and the term id2 indicates all about the products so the term id2 have a single post count and the third category have a single post count so while going through these two tables called WP terms and WP term taxonomy we can actually fetch all the informations from these two tables so inside this we need to make our inner join query so let's say that how can we join these two tables by using our WP TV object if I back to editor comment all these lines and let's say that all categories information so let's say info here we are going to use called WPDB let's say that get results so get results here and inside this get results we will have our prepared statement so let's say WP prepare and inside this let's say that select all from and the table we have called WP terms again back to our database this is our first table so WP terms so let's say that WPDB prefix inside this the table name we have called terms here so this is our first table so let's say that we are going to give a alias name so let's say this is all about our term table so copy that pasting it here it means that we want to get all the columns from this table now we are going to use inner join here so let's inner join and we have the second table called WPDB prefix and the second table we have called if I back to database this is all about a term underscore taxonomy and pasting it here now let's say that if we want to get let's say I, I give giving a alias name of this table so this is something taxo and also if we want to read all the information from this table so taxo dot star it means we are getting all the values from our first table as well as our joint table now we are going to use a condition means on what basis the two tables is going to join here so let's on term dot this is the alias of first table so term dot 
inside this table we have term id so term dot term id equal to taxo dot this is the alias of second table so taxo dot and inside this table we have also the term id so let's say that taxo term underscore id all we have done now if we make echo pre and let's say print a and inside this if i type all categories info save these changes back to browser reload this page and here we can find all about the information of term id name and its slug so inside this uncategorized we have two count of post here we have products we have single count for this books we have our single post now this is what we are getting from all two tables now let's say that from this first table we want only the name and from this taxo table we want only the count and also i am to provide an alias name for this taxo don't count let's say that total underscore post here now save this change back here reload this page now as we can see that the uncategorized category have total post equal to two products have one and books have one so this is all about guys how can we use our custom queries inside our widget so while making our custom queries by the help of the, this WPDB object we can make our custom widget via our custom query and also along with the data of our database so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day